Hey, today I'm inside the 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander with my friend Jill Simonillo. We're driving together because, you know, we like to drive everywhere together, including the Rebel Rally. Yes. And so we're testing this out in the beautiful state of Hawaii on the Big Island because the Tacoma, <laughs> which is also being launched here, has a huge presence. It seems like every other vehicle on the road is a Tacoma. I know, it's like taco. Taco. taco, taco. Speaking of, I think that's a taco. There's, oh no, mm, bored. No taco, but there's there's lots of them here, and the there Grand are. Highlander Highlander fits really well here. It is Toyota's new newest SUV, built from the ground up, and it's going to fit right between the Highlander and the larger Sequoia. The Grand Highlander, as you can see, has three rows, as does the Highlander, but this is kind of like the Grand Cherokee L it gives you more leg room in the back. It has 33 plus inches of leg room in the third row and they say that that's enough for a 6'2 adult. Yes. Now that is as long as you don't have the second row pushed all the way back. Yeah. This is the platinum all wheel drive grade. So this has seating for seven, but the base grade that has a bench seat in the middle, you can seat eight. You can bring all of your people and all of your cargo on road trips and highly recommend road trips in Hawaii. Yes. Because why not? Why not? Um, yeah, because one of the things they say, that you can fit seven like small roller boards in the cargo area yeah. without like having to compromise your car uh, people space. Yep. Yeah, I think I don't remember the, the numbers off the top of my head, but I think it's... Uh, I think you have 98 cubic feet if you have both of those rows folded down. So even if it's just two of you, yeah, you know, hauling furniture or moving your kid to college, you'll have lots of space. Yeah, I feel like um, it, it was, and I could be completely wrong, but I feel like it was 20 or 21 cubic feet behind that could be right. the um, second row. And I mean, they had the the suitcases stacked, but but still, I mean, you could you could fit a lot in this vehicle. What I like about it, of course, is that it's a it's a unibody design. It feels more like a small SUV than one that can actually hold up to eight people. And I like that. We found driving this that the driver assist is not obtrusive. It's yeah. not really going to bother you for, with the lane keep assist. You know how sometimes you're, you're driving a car and you're like, oh, I just have to muscle this thing back into the lane and that drives me crazy. Yeah. I thought the cruise control does very well steering is very competent I mean, it's a toyota and toyota does hybrids i think better than just about anybody i, I would agree and um, one of the things that i've really been appreciating on this vehicle i'm about five feet tall so i'm on the shorter side of the spectrum um and this has a lower belt line so i don't feel like i'm driving like you know the where's the beef grandma <laughs> you know, with the steering wheel up here and 80s reference the belt line back here right <laughs> Um, but, but I, I, I just, I feel like I have good visibility out of all the windows and I feel as a petite driver, like I can see stuff and I don't feel dwarfed by the vehicle. So this is a comfortable driver for somebody who's on the shorter side of the spectrum. Yeah, definitely. The, the back window could be an issue, I guess, for visibility, but this grade has the digital rear view camera so you can see a wide earth behind you there. Yeah, and, and I would say it's not a problem if you don't have third row passengers, but as soon as you put some, like three people in the back, um, that is going to block your visibility. Um, and that right. is where the rear camera mirror comes in very handy. For sure. And the Grand Highlander comes in three powertrain flavors, gas only, hybrid, and the hybrid max. Yeah. The one that we're in right now is the hybrid max, 362 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque the most powerful of course it's going to suffer a little bit for fuel efficiency this gets yeah. 27 miles to the gallon for combined. combined now if you have the hybrid which has two motors whereas the hybrid max has one big motor the regular hybrid gets closer to I think he said 37 between yeah. 34 and 37 depending yeah. on if you have front wheel drive or all-wheel drive and that has the two motors and the the horsepower is at least hundred less than it is for the hybrid max. So if power is your thing, and this does have really good merging capability and passing capability, we tried that out, this is the one that you would want. You'd want the hybrid max if you don't mind giving up some fuel efficiency. If it's fuel efficiency you're after, 
then you're going to want the hybrid. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the interior a little bit. What do yeah. you like? You know, I, I again, this we haven't seen the lower trim models yet, but I really like um, the textures and the surfaces. You know, these have some really nice ultra suede inserts on the seats. You've got some yeah. nice leather on the steering wheel. Um, and, and everything just kind of feels texturally good and I think it looks good and on the hybrid max you've got these bronze accents and bronze can be overdone and a little bit overpowering but on this vehicle and the way they've done it it's a little bit muted and I think it looks really good yeah it's a really nice really nice bronze we've for the finish on the outside there's two new colors and that bronze finish I think looks really pretty with both of them this one we're in right now is coastal cream on the outside yeah and we just drove storm cloud which is like a a cloudy blue gray mm -hmm. both are very nice it, yeah they really are um, you know it, it, it I like this because it's not straight white right it's just a little bit different it's not so like white it's more like chill white chill white yeah mm. inside I really like that they now have two cup holders in the front plus a space that's big enough for a hydro flask yeah so a refillable water bottle that's key I also really appreciate that the door pockets have upright water bottle slots yeah because I can't stand it when they do the, the slanted one and then all you yeah. can put in there is a, a plastic bottle and you no, can't even and drink I will it. say like usually I have a problem with the, um, the water bottles in the door but I don't in this one because of the location. And, and the reason why I have a problem is because I put my seat in the far forward position, so I'm usually covering the slot that holds your bottle. And they didn't do that in this one, so I, I appreciate that. I can, I can actually still reach my bottle. That's true. I'm gonna show you what it's like to sit in the second and third row seats. Okay, you know how some vehicles, SUVs, are really difficult to, to get into? Some of the full-size SUVs you really have to haul yourself up in there and if you have somebody with decreased mobility it might be really challenging so with the Grand Highlander you can take this lever here push the seat forward and it's got this really smart step right here where I can put my foot and then I can grab this handle and lift myself up and still pull the seat all the way back and I have room for a full-size adult 